Thing. Child endangerment. Two counts of child endangerment. Oh, no. Three counts. Because you got one, two, and then you have another one right there. Okay, gosh. Violation of probation. Oh, yeah, she's doing this all on probation. And she has a controlled substance. What is up, YouTube? What is your boy, Texas Chris? Coming back again with another video. And today, it's by the title. We'll be reacting to Mom Runs from Police While Her Baby in the Car. Oh, gosh. Let's get right into it. Hope y'all having a wonderful day. Let's uh, see how bad this uh, title fits to the video. Howard of the Des Moines Police Department was running speed checks on random cars and observed a car <laughs> traveling 45 in a 30 mile per hour zone. Officer Howard initiated a traffic stop, but after talking with the driver, the passenger exits the car, giving the driver time to flee from the scene. Why is the car running like that? Okay, keep your driver's license. Hey man, just tell her to turn the car off. At this point. How do I spell your first name? Date of 2015, so I'm gonna go with no. Bro, that would have been well, that's eight years ago. Brand new phone, but please just insure the insure the car. Brand new phone, though. Lady, just tell the man you don't have no insurance. I don't know what the police officer is thinking. Ma'am, where are you going? Hey, ma'am. Ma'am. Ma'am, where are you going? Come back. 
Come back here. 44. Hey, 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 stop! 44, I got a car leaving my strip. Whoa. Whoa. What? What just happened? <laughs> All right. Officer Howard quickly loses sight of the fleeing vehicle. So officers Garcia and Valentine were dispatched to her residence about an hour after the stop. Only to find her son in the back seat of a different car parked <gasps> in their driveway. It's okay, buddy. Without proof that she is inside, officers would need permission from the property owner to enter the home. No, nah, that's so sad, bro. She basically just neglected her child. All because she was doing 45 and a 30. Huh. If you're going to speed limit, that wouldn't happen. Police department! After many attempts, knocking on the door, officers start to think that the suspect is no longer on the property or that she is not willingly going to come out. So it is best to get the baby out of the car. Hey, we were doing a follow-up for Howard at 7500 Bloomfield, trailer 36, on a possible hit-and-run suspect. Uh, we come up to the trailer. There's a vehicle here that is, it looks like it's been involved in hit-and-run, but it doesn't match the information that Howard gave. But there is a six-month-old baby in the back seat. The vehicle's running. Nobody in the driver's seat. No one's answering at the trailer. Do you want us to go ahead and start DHS out here? I haven't tried to make any phone calls yet. I did run the RO's information. Comes back to a male. The hit and run driver is supposedly a female. Okay, let's uh, let's knock on a couple of neighbors' doors real quick to see if somebody knows this kid or the whereabouts if they we're supposed to have him or not. Oh, is there a car guy? Yeah, we can't get a hold of anybody to let a couple times. On call to each other. Copy, will do. You want to start talking to neighbors quick? I'm going to see if I can get a hold of the You don't even just think like people can just leave their six month old child. I wonder what the inside of their house looks like. Too bad we won't be able to see it, but I wonder what the inside of their house looks like. If they treat their six month old child like this, imagine how they treat their restroom, their kitchen, they probably don't even wash dishes. It's probably a mess in there. It's so sad. People can be so cruel to people that they run into the world, you know what I mean? Um, this lady that baby didn't ever come to me in the world. So sad. And the door's uh, wide open. Go ahead and knock on the door still, but let's uh, go ahead and ring on call. And uh, we can start that process. Child probably going to have to go through CPS Copy. now. Uh, just to clarify, this car seat is not properly seated in here. Was this vehicle involved in an accident? Hey, buddy. Hey, it's okay. That's so sad. Not the one I'm looking for. Not the 98 Corolla. I don't know about this black Altima, though. Okay. Police dispatch. Police. Police track 5E. Hey, Howard, you still over here? It's okay. Hey, it's okay. Sure am. You want to make your way out here, too, as well? To the trailer? Hey. It's okay. Just down the street, buddy. 
Sounds good. I don't know how much gas put police in the officers like it's hot as balls in burn. That. Kind of they be and driving then, around uh, city, try to get hold of DHS. county, all of that. It's all right. Come on, you're okay. You're okay. Maybe having to ride in the police car before she's even old enough. It's got damage in the front windshield on the passenger corner. Baby's just chilling in the back seat in the carrier. It's a push to start car. I don't see the fob anywhere. He's got this. He has the kid in the back seat. Um, funny story. I think that's actually old damage. We got called out here on a shots trip a couple weeks ago. Really? It was like probably about, well, probably realistically probably about a month ago. And, uh, it was in the area that somebody mentioned this address. Did you turn the fan on? So he came out there a couple weeks ago. So when does somebody realize enough is enough for them to not put themselves in danger no more? Even if it was just 45 and a 30, you're still like breaking the law, you know what I mean? I know we speed every day, and you... Hey, you cannot say you do not speed. <laughs> Don't lie. <laughs> we speed every day, but this could have been prevented. She could have just told the man she don't have no insurance. Then that lady getting out the vehicle was a decoy, so that so the other one could drive off. Yeah, we, we're you know me and you thinking the same right now. We we thinking the same, but that was a decoy, so that lady could drive off. But where's the lady go? She put her baby in the black Altima. I don't even know where this black Altima came from. Cause I feel like they leaving something out. Is that your elephant? You know what I mean? Is that your elephant? All right, so what's the deal? Grandparents are here. Grandparents got a call from daughter saying, hey, come pick up my kid. And apparently they knew she wasn't going to be here. So they came down. Okay. I still want to talk to DHS. Oh, absolutely. I'm still waiting for them to give me a call. I've got no problem with that. Because I, I have no problem if they go with grandparents, but... We want to get the sign... At this point, we've got DHS involved. We want to get the sign off on them. Yes. I'm with, yeah. Yep. I'm on the same page. So, I'm going to keep trying to get a hold of them. Um, do they own it? Mom said she's part owner in there. In there. So I'm going to clarify on that and find out what we've got. At this point, we've still got good warrants. So even if we can go in and find the stuff in But if we can go in and do that, let's know. Um, Hello? Hello? Yes. Do not tell me we found this lady in the woods. <laughs> I mean, can't any event, but... Are they not going to have any interaction with a human? Hi. Oh, is that tickle? Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, is tickle. <laughs> You're a sweet boy, aren't you? You're a sweet baby. Yes, hi. This is Officer Valentine with the Morning Police Department. Um, okay, so we had an officer out on a traffic stop with a young lady who had an infant in the car. The infant uh, looks to me to be about two to three months old. Um, she took off and eluded that officer. Uh, she gave her name and information to him before she did that. We were able to find out where her address was. We went to the address to look for the car. The car she took off in was missing, but there's another car here that is running with no adults around with the baby in the back seat. We've tried making contact with the uh, trailer that it's associated with. Nobody's making themselves known. And apparently um, the daughter called the child's grandparents 
um, to come get the child, knowing that the the mother wasn't going to be here. Um, okay. We didn't know grandparents well, were involved yet, so we they... were calling to talk about. I'm sorry. Would they be able to give the child to the grandparent without them finishing their investigation? I don't think so, right? I don't. I don't believe so, because that just wouldn't make any sense. Here, you can have the baby, but <laughs> where's your daughter at? Oh, we're not answering that. Oh, well, you can't take the baby. Like, how would that play? Like, I want to know. Maybe like a removal or some safety. Let's see. Thing. So now I just want to kind of run it by you on what you think is the best course of action here. Mom's boyfriend. Grandma's boyfriend. Grandpa lives here. Is Jerry, J E R R Y. Hope. Oh. He said that this car showed up within the last month. It's 515. The address comes back to every So, not mom, but grandma's boyfriend lives here. Yes. Not not here. Not oh. in, the in the park. In the park. In the park. In the park. Okay. Sorry. Seems like a lot of, huh, you know, going on. You're gonna go see grandma. You're gonna go see grandma. You wanna go see grandma? Do you like your grandma? <laughs> imagine that's the only thing he says. Let's no. Yeah. Imagine. Let's go see grandma. Hi. You're such a happy boy. Let's go see grandma. Is he talking to you? He's smiling and happy. He is, he is a happy baby. I have a three month old at home. So. Aren't you a little guy? Um, yes, you are. So DHS has all your yes, information. You are. They'll probably reach out to you to talk to you. Okay. okay. This is she's going to be hit with child endangerment charges for fleeing with an infant in the back, um, amongst a slew of other things. DHS is going to try and contact her as well, and go from there. Okay. Do you have any questions about us at this time, ma'am? No. Don't make no sense. I would say if you Put the child in danger. Her, I would tell her to call us and turn herself in to get this thing sorted out as quickly as I possible. I wanted to turn herself in. You think? Okay. I will. All right. See you later, little buddy. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Sorry. No, no need to be sorry. About three weeks later, officers discovered the stolen car parked on a side street after the neighbors saw them park and walk away from the running car. Okay, did you see if they were, like, male or female? I was in the garage, so... Okay. Yeah, we're that second line. I heard it's, it was sounding like female voices. It was kind of okay. like giggling. And Mama. Mama. What's up, bro? Case number 2193. Case number 2193. And I raised my head out and they were running that way down. Oh, okay. Yeah, they pulled up at the same time. So I'm thinking that this lady's probably not going to run. I don't know. So we're wearing dark clothes. I can't hear you. Yeah, they ran from me at uh, Southwest Ninth and Watchers. No, it's got plates. That must be a small city. Has to be. Thank you for calling. Uh, are you guys going to be here for a minute? No. Okay. I'm yeah, they live there. Just ask you a couple questions. But, uh, no, they took off before I could get it. Twenty-two. So that's about ten thirty-seven. They said they saw people go up this alley northbound about ten minutes ago, but we don't really have. North. That ran from me like five minutes ago, or probably 10, 20 minutes ago. It's stolen. So. So she ran again. They just ran from us. They must have just pitched it. Yeah. Yep. I wanted to turn something in. 136 on two. Sounds good. Thank you. This is their opportunity to tow it. Please tow it. Michaela ended up getting hit with a list of charges with the most important being child endangerment, eluding, interference with official acts, and violation of probation. If you enjoy... Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, okay. So she turned herself in. 
and it turned itself in on the 30th, and that happened on the 9th. The other one happened in July, so let's see. Failure to provide proof of financial liability, speeding 55 or under, uh, registration violation, drive with suspended, denied, revoke license. Gosh. Uh, death fifth degree. Damn. Uh, interference with official acts, eluding, child endangerment, two counts of child endangerment. Oh, no, three counts because you got... One, two, and then you have another one right there. Okay, gosh. Violation of probation. Oh, yeah, she's doing this all on probation. And she has a controlled substance. Oh, wow. Well, I'm not one to judge. <clears throat> I'm not one to judge, but this just doesn't seem right. I just hope she gets the help she needs, because Michaela needs it. Hit with a list of charges with the most important being child endangerment, eluding, interference with official acts, and violation of probation. Yeah, well, that pretty much wraps up. <laughs> I hope she gets the help she needs so she doesn't put her child in any more danger because that's, you don't want the child to grow up and be in and, and reflect in those ways that you're doing. So I hope this lady gets the help she needs, honestly. Hope y'all have a wonderful day. Make sure you check out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. More of my reaction videos. I hope you have a wonderful day. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks, Chris. We signing out. Peace.